Your Excellency, Engineer Yasser Al Qadi, Communication IT Minister of Egypt, or may I say, my old friend. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to be in front of you today to speak about the Internet of Things, even though I'm sure you all know more about it than I do. I do come from a technology background, but I'm speaking to you today from a perspective of a hotelier. I lead Dur Hospitality, the Saudi publicly listed company that specializes in developing, owning, and operating hotels in Saudi Arabia since 1976. Through the last 40 years, we have built the first Marriott in the Middle East and Africa. We are still the largest owner of Marriott hotels in Saudi Arabia, among other brands. And we also operate under different, other different uh, brand names. One day, I was traveling to the US, and I cannot forget that day. I arrived after a very long trip, jet lagged, sleep deprived, and short drained. Arriving at the hotel, opening the door, going in, the only thing I could see was the bed, because I just wanted to crash. The only thing stopping me from sleeping was that it was daytime, I arrived during the day, to me it was night, and I had to close the curtains. The only problem was these curtains had complex controls to close. At that point, even though I had a PhD in technology, I wish I could just yank the drapes shut and go to sleep. So the latest technology isn't always the answer. Technology is great. It's beautiful when it works, just like I saw last minute. And IoT, or technology in the hospitality industry, should be deployed, should be deployed, but wisely. A recent Oracle study on hotel guests' preferences and priorities found out that hotel guests still prioritized old-fashioned hospitality services to technology services. Asked about what they prioritize, the basic things, cleanliness, staff helpfulness, and finding people to speak to at the check-in desk. These were the three most important priorities. And when pressed for what are their technology preferences, what would they be willing to use through technology or a hotel app, for example, they said they would like to probably ask about nearby activities, requesting amenities and pillows, making restaurant reservations, and ordering room service. So technology has a place. And technology preferences in hotels depends on the guest type. Yet, yet, for all types of guests, there is an amenity that everybody needs. It's a basic. Whenever I open my hotel door, the first two things I look for are the plug to charge my device and the Wi-Fi password to get connected. But after that, it really depends on the guest type. The business travelers have their needs, the leisure and uh, holiday maker have their needs, and also the hedge travelers have their own needs. In Saudi Arabia, we are honored to receive about 2 million people for the big hajj, or the major hajj, at the end of the lunar year. This is a sacred journey that is, ha that is uh, to be uh, done once in a lifetime, if you can afford it financially and physically. Muslims prepare for this for a long time, anticipate it, and want to do it perfectly. And we are honored to receive them there and help them accomplish that. Two million travelers come in one particular time, and then you have six million travelers throughout the rest of the year. These eight million people, most of them stay in hotels. We, Endure Hospitality, have been serving this segment, honored to serve this segment, since 1984, when we opened the first five-star hotel in Mecca, the Makarim Ajad Hotel. These travelers have very special needs. They come from a, long from a far place, they do the strip once in their lifetime, so they don't know exactly what to expect and what to see and what to do it. And it's physically challenging. It needs effort. 
They have special needs in that they need comfort, they need help and guidance in this whole journey. That's why, based on our experience with this segment, we have launched the first Saudi hospitality brand, Makarim, to focus on the need of the Hajj and Umrah travelers. We handhold them on this religious journey, we provide them the comfort they need, and using technology, we provide them some unique services to help them accomplish their spiritual task. We have, in all hotels, you have concierge. In our hotels, we have spiritual concierge. The spiritual concierge is there to answer questions, to give guidance, and to give them tips and helpful hints on how to complete their Hajj and Umrah. They also have a mobile app, our customers, that they, hold, that they take with them, that has maps and guidance specific to the location they're in to help them complete their journey. We also help them before they come using our website that, is the, uh, that has content in seven languages corresponding to the major populations that come to our hotels. And we reward our loyal customers through our Karam Club card that recognizes and uh, gives special privileges to those who stay in our hotels. So technology is important to the Hajj travelers, but not on, that's not the only segment that we serve. We also serve the luxurious lifestyle seekers. These are residents in our high-end villas at the diplomatic quarters in Riyadh. These high-end villas are outfitted with Schneider Electric smart home services that allows them to control lighting, temperature, access, and security. In a residence, it is more appropriate to provide such smart services because the learning curve is steep, but they have time to get used to this technology. They stay in our residences for years, and also the space they have is big, and they need to control it. So it's a perfect match for these types of uh, lifestyle seekers, and they appreciate it, and for that we charge premium for our product compared to our competitors. Guests are not the only users of technology. We, as a developer, as an operator, as an owner, rely a lot on technology as well. In order to sustain environment, in order to save cost, in order to deliver good service, and in order to save costs, we use smart energy management systems. Some from Schneider. This helps us to cut costs and to be cutting edge. However, this is not, does not happen only at the operational phase. Us being through the whole life cycle of the real estate, from inception to operation, thinking about operation, efficient, efficient operation, environmental sustainability, and cost efficiency happens from the beginning. When we design, build, or retrofit any of our properties, we take all these factors, we take them in, in, uh, we, we take them in light. We are proud to have launched the first certified LEED Gold Hotel in Saudi Arabia, which is the Marriott DQ Hotel and Apartment, which was designed to be LEED Gold and will be open in a year time from now, inshallah. This is not the only project where we use uh, or rely on LEED uh, certification. In our 22 projects that are now in the pipeline, the ones, the hotels, the big ones, are all designed on the LEED standard. And whenever we do a retrofit, of an old project, we look at that as well. Now in Saudi Arabia, with the launch of Vision 2030 that was launched last year, that looks at a brighter future for Saudi Arabia in a future that is less dependent on energy, uh, uh, on, uh, energy revenues with a diversified income for Saudi Arabia, some of the pillars of this, re of this vision came very well with the focus of our company. The vision looks at increasing the number of Hajj and Umrah visitors 
to 30 million a year. It looks at increasing local tourism. It looks at also reducing utility consumption. All these are in line with what we're doing at our company. So we're very excited about the vision and look forward to a successful, to be a part of a successful implementation. Going back to my first question, how far should we go in implementing the Internet of Things? My answer is as far as the guests would appreciate. And as far as you could get return on your investment. But one thing for sure, in all our new developments, we are, building the, we are laying the infrastructure with technology companies such as Schneider to make sure that the infrastructure is there whenever the viable services come up and the customers appreciate them, that we are ready to implement them and launch them to our guests. Thank you very much.